I mean, at this stage, you can probably just go ahead and end the battle. Already then. Decisive victory! Battle. Good start. Well done. So Kill them all. Kill them all. Your Griffin got 27 kills. Griffin, I mean, Eagle. Phoenix, that's the dude. Your Bolt Thrower <laughs> got 42. Archer's got 89. Tyrion <laughs> got 41. Like, your General got a lot of kills. Yeah. Yeah, uh, heroes and generals, very powerful. Like, not game-breakingly so, but they are extremely strong. Especially the legendaries, which Tyrion is one. Blade of Darting Steel. Ooh, you got a magic item. Nice. Melee attack plus eight. Um, decisive victory. Okay. Now, I want to occupy, I guess... Uh, yes. Yeah, most oh, things so on Ulth 1 you probably just want to occupy. Yeah, I want to take it all. Um, and now I can't build because. Nope, I'm at the wrong button. I can build. What do I want to build? Champion and also, one thing I should point out is if you click on your army, you'll see Tyrion has a little upward pointing gold arrow. So if you click on the on the far left character details, click on that and then you can choose what skills and abilities to give him. Unfortunately, I can't assist you at this point because I can't see what he has. But I would quite strongly recommend that the bottom left blue skill will be uh, Root Marcher or something like that, yeah, which increases yeah, your campaign movement. You probably want that one. Okay, got that one. Uh, but between turns, spend some time looking at his other abilities so you can kind of have an idea of what kind of hero you want him to be. The top line is... Sorry, the the very top bit is his unique stuff, so that's all things that just Tyrion can get. The line below that, I think, is going to be yellow. Those are combat skills, so that make him a better fighter. Below that are the red skills. Those are like your command skills. They'll make your army stronger. And then the bottom row, the blue ones, are like your campaign or your agent abilities, which means that he's a better kind of strategic guy. You probably don't want those on your legendary. You more want him to be either a general or a uh, melee or fighty person yeah okay the blue skills are much more relevant for lords and heroes rather than the legendaries okay sounds good um i need to build something over here i can still move i guess uh probably not having just taken the city oh, servant oh, of the king but i can build uh, what do I want to build? You probably want to put him back in the city just so you get... Because when you're garrisoning a city, you get more uh, replenishment, which Inspecting means you reinforce garrison. quicker. So you see, like, the third along spearman has 101 men, and then that little bit of yellow next to the blue bar. If you move out the city, you'll see that yellow bar shrinks. Tyrion, ah, yeah, yeah okay. And that's the number of troops that he'll regain. Good to know. Uh, what do I want to build? More growth? Uh, if this is in the same region as Lothurn, which it is, then you probably yeah. want either growth or economy. I mean, the nice thing about growth is it will beef up your cities earlier, and then you can just replace them later. Make him... yeah, I will do. <coughs> okay. Um, I think I'm done. Uh, yeah. One last thing, which has just been pointed out to me in chat. Queen. If you go to the character details again with Tyrion... Ah, yeah. Um... The item. There'll be two tabs, uh, skills and overview or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. If you click the details. overview, then you can see all the um, equipment they have. The sword should already be automatically equipped. Yeah, the new it, one. Is. it is. But that's where you would change things around. Okay. Good to know. And that's my turn. All right, then. Now we see what the enemy does in response. There do seem to be a surprising number of Dark Elves on Orthwan. Which is slightly worrying. Considering they're kill. bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Let's zoom back over to Teclis. Oh man, we are so far away from each other. Infinite knowledge is so I'm going to tell Teclis to go and attack the Golden Ziggurat. 
I will give gonna you fight the victory. battle. So they have Saurus Spears and Skink battle Cobalt. Calls me. Then you need to say observe. I did that. Alright, so in this battle I'm going to give you the archers this time, and you can try and position them. So a couple of things which are relevant, although not so much in this battle because no one's actually using them, but if enemies have shields, then they're very resistant to ranged fire unless you hit them from the flanks or behind, which is why I was trying to deploy so far out, because a lot of the high elf units do have shields. Uh, but against these guys, skinks and sauruses, no shields. So you can basically just deploy right behind me and shoot over my head. Um, if you had guns, then they can't shoot over, they don't arc, they shoot horizontally, so you probably do want them on the flank so you can shoot along the battle line rather than over it. So, I'll give you and okay. you to you. You now have the archers. So I'm going to put my spears just in the center, I think. And uh, on the left it's a bit higher up, but I don't think we will use that, right? The high ground? Uh, probably don't Doesn't need matter. to. We, we will attack what I will All do right. is set a little trap for them, though, with my sword masters in the forest, so I can hit them from the side. And then my Frostheart Phoenix, which does what? Blizzard Aura reduces enemy melee attack and armor piercing. Oh, nice. Tune to magic. He has magic resist. Oh, it's a ward save, so that's resistant to everything. And he does also cause fear and terror, so he'll stick you on the left flank. And then Teclis is a wizard. He can do fireball just because he can do fireball. He also has the Flock of Doom, which is a direct damage. Area of effect causes damage to comp... Uh, and then the Enfeebling Foe, which is a hex on all enemies within 200 meters. Is that targeted? No. So you should probably be fairly near the front. All right, you ready? Yep, I am. Let's do this. Oh, they're attacking already. Yeah, they, they, they tend to be pretty aggressive. <laughs> so with the archers, what you could do is you stick them in front of my spears, and then you can skirmish for a bit, and then pull back behind the spears to give yourself a bit more range. Or this if you're already in range, already. <laughs> then you're fine. Uh, you definitely want to hit the sauruses. The skinks, not so da dangerous. Sauruses, very dangerous. So yeah, you're shooting the right ones. They're general as well. Techless. Wow. It's a friendly fire. Yes. Also for uh, archers. Yes. Everything okay, is friendly so, fire. Yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> Considering how tough lizardmen are usually to break, they broke surprisingly easy. Like, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a lizardman army run in my lizardman campaign. <laughs> Come on, hunt down those spearmen. No, not going to catch them. They're faster than I am, 31 to 33. No, they're not. The Phoenix should catch them. Yeah, the Phoenix has been. The Phoenix has got 45 kills. And there we go, a decisive battle. Friendly fire exists, but they have improved the ranged AI a lot, so they don't fire if they have a good chance to hit it friendly. So yeah, if, if there is like a, a, f a big melee like you just saw in that one, then moving the 
the ranged units out to the sides a bit can be useful, but be careful about being flanked yourself, especially if they have cavalry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I foresaw this victory. I understand. We lost four men. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> That's what I call a good battle. <laughs> four men. Oh, it does automatically kill units at the end, because Teclis had like 15 kills, now he has 88. Swordmasters, they are really good. I'm gonna have to try and get more of them. And let's see. Sacking it doesn't really give enough money, so I'm just gonna Behold go ahead and occupy it. My power. The Asa are ageless. Okay, what do I want to build? Ordinarily I'd go for like the craftsman or something. But I'm kinda of tempted to get growth just so I can build things up faster. I what we will. We can always replace it after. Alright, tech list leveled up. I'm going to do the same, root marcher, and then at my turn I'm going to have to look at his special skills. Is it bless you? Yes. Uh, you can't move. I could start training some more troops though, and I think I will do that. Okay. Over to you! So, do you know how to recruit There's troops? A ruin. I should okay. ask. What was that? Recruit, lords, recruit, hero, recruit. Okay, so army recruitment is actually done in the army itself, so click on Shield Tyrion's army. Darkness. And then the center of the bottom panel will be a button. Maybe oh, two. Yeah. Click on that. Uh, what is uh, what is the difference about global and local? So local are troops which are only present in that region. So if you have barracks and things in that region, you can recruit any troops present there. Um, global, if you're encamped or if you're in a region which doesn't have those troops, like natively, then you can recruit them, but they cost more and they take longer to arrive. So you want to do local if possible? Yeah. It is well worth moving to local regions to do it because it is quite a lot cheaper. Yeah, um, I will make one spearman and one archer. So, before oh, you do that, can I see what your borders are? Your borders, I guess, are just the coast. Um, you may want to actually move from the glittering tower towards the. Uh, actually, how do you get over there? Not being able to click on your units doesn't help. Um, so, the next place that you probably want to attack is either the Tower of Lycian or Angrimanal. So what I would suggest doing is moving, like, deleting the troops you've just tried to recruit. Move your troops towards the border of the Tower of Lycian. And then at the border recruit. Shield against the darkness. So don't go over the border, just go up to the border. There you go, now recruit. Right there. Because then you get um, the move and the recruitment. Okay. Sounds fine. Um, more archers. Yeah, I went with two okay. spears and one archer. Having a strong front line is very helpful. But I want two archers. <laughs> well, you can do whatever you like. It's your army. <laughs> uh, can I build something? Uh, yes, I can. I'm not the boss of you. Not yet. <laughs> uh, no, I can't. I need more growth. Um, well, then that's all I can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first turn always takes a bit longer. The the subsequent ones are quite a lot quicker. Oh, their army is on the move. Probably to try and intercept you. Or else just to garrison Lycian. So the next battle in Lycian will be a lot more difficult. But the icon above them, the three men with the arrow underneath them, means they are marching, which means they are going to be tired when we do fight them, so they'll have some pretty significant penalties. So I do want them to fight them in the next turn. If you can, yes. Plus, they'll probably start recruiting more troops, so the earlier you can do it, the better. I'm getting achievements left, right, and center. Um, Alright. Stance march, recruitment disabled. So they are marching. I'm going to start marching because I need to get closer to where they are. Very well. I'm going to sail. Full strength, yeah. This will do. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of fine elven wine. 
Because I can't really see the elves drinking rum. Not me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> How dare you not like mead? What's wrong with you? Oh, I got some new troops, so I can get archers in light armor. Which... Oh, show me the bloody archer. Fine, I'll do it the other way. Except I can't because I can't see what they can... Damn it! We are the guardians of all there we go. Range 180. Range 180, that's the important thing. Armor 40, armor 15, leadership 60, 60, ammo 24. So everything's the same except they are literally armored, as it would suggest, seeing as it says brackets light armor. Lothurn, Sea Guard, a missile and spear infantry. They do shoot, just not as far as archers. Are they skirmishers? Charge defense against large, anti-large. Huh. Okay. I'm going to have to try recruiting some of those when I'm able to do so. Right. Technology. Yeah, I should totally research that. Skipping that one. Done. Over to you. Lotha and Seaguard are really good. Yeah, they seem to be. They have They have a nice combination of range and melee, and they're pretty moderately armoured, considering. I didn't say well armoured. I'm not going to call them, like, dwarven level of armour, but still. To victory. Oh, he's on his way. Yeah, going. Orion. <laughs> Leroy! <laughs> Black-hearted dreadlord. Okay, is that a possible fight to win? I don't know, I can't see it. Probably, but you probably will take casualties. But you have just recruited a bunch more, so yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. I, but... Yeah, that's fine. You have quite a large army. I will observe. Dark Corsairs or anti-infantry dual sword. They have no shields though, so we can shoot them. So the Black Arc Corsairs are probably their most dangerous. So we'll need to target those first. Loading takes a while. Hmm. But it, at least we have it on the SSDs. It's not like the pre-SSD thing. Because, gosh, that was slow. Nice sound. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, your troops start in the tent. How quaint. <laughs> Do I want to give all the archers to you again? That's entirely up to you. What do you prefer commanding? Give me the rest. Okay. Archers. Um, um, this time I am going to make use of high ground. Yeah. That site looks useful. In fact, I might even just do this. Orders received. Except the hedges make this rather difficult to actually deploy here. There we go. Ready? One sec. I can't get in that middle pit. That's really annoying. Uh, might be easier to deploy on the right side rather than the left because these hedges are just getting in the way. Do you want yeah, to go to the right side? Let's do it on the right. Because I can't really make use of that hill. The hedges are in the way. I can't deploy there. Are you, are you want troops over there? Hmm. You don't have to put them all over there. I could probably put an archer or two on the left if you want to hit them from both sides. Do something um, like that, maybe. And then we just wrap around them. Yeah, I'll keep that sort in the middle though, as well then. As you wish. Okay, ready. Yeah, seems reasonable. 
Oh, hello. Let me do a bit of skirmishing. So, who do we want to attack first? Uh, Black Ark, anything. Especially the Black Ark Corsairs. Yeah. Nicely unarmored. Oh, actually, they have heavy armor, but no shields. Because apparently, cloaks give you armor. Little known fact. Oh, High Elven archers are pretty damn strong. Not impressively so. So be careful on your left flank, it's looking a little flimsy. What left flank? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they broke. That's actually kind of impressive. This is the difference that having a decent general and not having a general makes, by the way. Your units stay and fight, theirs don't. For duty! For duty! Understood. Archers. Uh oh, your artillery is running. Uh, not my artillery, spearman. Uh, yeah, sorry. Your artillery is taking the beat in there. Yeah. But Tyrion's giving me a very nice target there, just loads and loads of spearmen of their backs towards me. I'm just pinging away at that. The warriors are rallying, that's probably the spearmen coming back. Yeah, your spears are ready to fight again. They're starting to run. The, the morale's really low. Good. I think your phoenix is doing a pretty good job of <laughs> scaring them all away. Cause terror, it's, it's mean. I was doing that with the uh, Bastardon in the Elizabeth game as well. Especially if you can hit them from behind while you've got them pinned down with your spears or something, and they're just like, nope. It's just a big load of nope. Let's take out the crossbows. If at all possible, get Tyrion to attack their general, the wizard who's kind of standing out on his own. Because Tyrion is extremely good one on one fighting. Oh, he's over there. Uh oh, <laughs> their units are coming back again. So yeah, you probably... No, it's fine. Yeah. I'm trying to get there, but there's units in the way. Assyrian guides us! March! Move! Right. Archers, don't get involved in that melee. No, really, don't get involved in that melee. I'm trying to get you into a better position so I can really pound their flank. What do they say about not getting in that melee? Come on. Onward. Make Ulquan proud for the Ever Queen. Come on, guys. Let the spearmen do their job. We have other work to do. Alright, let's 
fire into there. Eunice has used all of his ammo. Oh, he has as well. Well, let's go and support your spears in melee, because apparently elven archers are really good in melee fighting. Martial prowess, melee defense, and melee attack bonus. Hey, Fanro. No, they've not announced any release date for Mount Blade, unfortunately. <laughs> 